I am the Nerf Curator. Hey, what up YouTube? This is Triple Vivification, also known as Triple B. I am the Nerf Curator. Welcome back everyone. We are here at another show called Forgotten Nerf. I am with the awesome I'm Cap Captain Xavier. Yes, sir. And, and we're doing this to uh, to showcase the vintage blasters that are going in the Makerspace collection. That is correct. Uh, so I, I called in the Nerf Curator to help curate my collection. And we're looking at some of the, the oldest. In fact, this is the first Dart Blaster. That is correct. This is old, folks. We're talking 92 old. We're talking before you were born old. I was nine. <laughs> I'm not going to say how old I was, but I was young too. <laughs> I was young. And I was unaware of this blaster back then because I was so young. And yeah, Nerf wasn't wasn't the area of toys I was into. I was into Lego and G.I. Joe. I didn't have much no. in the way Nerf. I did have the fencing swords where you tried to poke the grip down. Oh, I did too. Yeah, I remember poking I that several people with that. Yeah. It was very fun. You nasty. <laughs> but this is the original, folks. You're looking at it. For you collectors out there, for you just want to start it, want to begin it, this is it. This is the beginning. And um, this is in pretty good shape, sir. You, uh, yeah, you got kind of lucky here. Yeah, I don't remember where this one came from. It was probably sent to me by somebody. Uh, but this was the original toy, Nerf toy. There were probably toys before Nerf that did it. But this is the first Nerf blaster that fired darts of any kind. That's correct. You had balls originally and you had the arrows before that. Yep. But this was the first dart shooter. That is correct. Uh, and it is in good condition. The, the, the dart holders are attacked. There's a little crack here on the back from... Um, Just from natural wear. Yeah, from use, from kids priming it. Trying, you know, herking on it. Uh, this one, I believe, has was featured in my K26 episode and was uh, has K26 in it at the moment. <laughs> it's very beefy. Um, geez, don't dry fire this thing, you monster! I am monstrous when it comes. To, it's because I'm the curate. I've, I've played with these things. I know yeah. what they're um, capable. So rather than having a, a barrel that it went into, it has a post. Yes. Uh, so I assume it fired old mega. Or something similar. May have even fired something other than that. It's, it, it actually fired a weird, another weird shaped, uh, not a weird shape, but a weird inner diameter yeah. uh, streamlined dart. That's what it shot. It's got a small handle, unfortunately. Um, and it was smaller than a regular Mega, as you can tell right mm -hmm. here. But it was bigger than a normal size, and it the so eventual, it fit over what the eventually coach. became yeah. the streamlines, yeah. And that was another rare thing to have if you have that. But uh, uh, the, one, the one that I uh, sold to uh, Out of Darts... Uh, this is, uh, if you were paying attention to, to uh, another video, I don't know what line it show up, but um, he uh, actually purchased one of these and was in perfect condition, and it had the darts, uh, which is super rare. And, uh, yeah, they were they were a little bit smaller than a Mega, a little bit bigger than a Streamline. So, yeah, they're very weird. But um, yeah, Out of Darts wanted it because it was his first blaster. It's kind of what got him into the whole shooting hobbies in general, and so he wanted one for nostalgia purposes, and yeah. naturally came to the Curator. Yes, sir. Where else are you going to go? That's right. So this one, uh, things to look for. So price-wise, uh, this ranges from all over the place. Uh, they can start off as low as five bucks because of condition uh, or someone not knowing what they got, all the way up to forty bucks. Um, I, I haven't seen too many go past that unless they're in like, unless you got the darts and it's in super condition. Uh, but yeah, forty to forty-five, it's going to be looking in the good condition range. Uh, in the box. You can always average it between 80 to 90 dollars if it's in the box. Um, that doesn't mean sealed. That just means with the box. Uh, having advertisement from back then is really fun for collectors because yeah. Yeah, it's fun to see some of the stuff that they did back then. Um, so if you have this in your collection, congratulations! You are uh, the proud owner of the first blaster made by Nerf. Uh, and I want to say dart blaster because they did shoot balls yeah they had the, the blast ball and the blast and right. the, the bow and arrows were the, the first right. things that fired stuff yeah so there it is guys this one's a short one I mean unless you have anything else in, I mean uh, I, I don't know I mean obviously if you really really wanted to we'll let the big truck go by <laughs> If you really, really wanted to, you could, of course, rebarrel it. Uh, like I said, this one was featured in Canatech K26, and it can. 
So it can take a really beefy spring if you really felt like reburying it for... Me Honestly, I would go mega, if anything, um, just because of the size of the, the breach and all that. Um, but it's another one of those that you're, you're really better off keeping it as a collector's item. Honestly, there are, there are better blasters to mod. This thing doesn't have a huge plunger tube. You're never going to get incredible performance out of it. And right. so, unless it's all you have, or you just exactly. really want that retro look... You know, I'm, that, I'm inclined to, to, to collect it, frankly. Obviously, I modded mine, and that was kind of before I decided to do the whole collection thing. And I am still tempted to, to possibly rebarrel it, at least, uh, because I want to do an all-vintage loadout at some point, where yeah. it's all vintage blasters that have been internally modified, but not externally modified. I was tempted to paint them all up in my colors, but I've definitely decided not to do that, as that would just be a, just not a, yeah, not a good idea. <laughs> And that's what most of the fans are like, what? No, yeah. don't do that. The beauty is in the vintage. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah, you are absolutely correct, yes. yes. And then I have to get, you know, some some vintage 90s looking clothing yeah. and, and just... It's with the shoulder pads. You got to yeah, shoulder pads shoulder in the pads 90s. Everything and, has shoulder pads. And hammer pants. Now, you think I can pull off hammer pants? Oh, yeah. Oh, I would wear them with you. We could do it together. Excellent. That's it. Oh, and yes. by the way, to the person who, the fan, who sent me a message saying, Captain Xavier versus... Oh, uh, triple we, B. We have a plan for that. Nerf curator. Yes, we have a plan. It's going to be good. Yes, we're not going to let we're going to let too much slide. That's right. Because we want it we want it to be uh to be Your suitably wish. epic. It but it it will it will happen. Will come. So it'll probably end up happening before this video gets posted, <laughs> unless we make this one of the early ones. We're not doing these in any particular order. We're not right. trying to do them in chronological order because I don't have all the blasters yet. So it's as I get more, and so right now we're just pulling stuff randomly out of the vintage bin I have and just throwing it up here for you guys. Right. So. This has been an episode of Forgotten Nerf. Yes. I've been Captain Xavier. I am the Nerf Curator. And he has to say the other thing, but he keeps forgetting. And I'll keep the light on for you. What, what am I supposed to say? <laughs> so I, I, say, I, I say, you say... I'm Captain Xavier. And I'll say, I'm the Nerf Curator. Yes. And then you say... Thank uh, you for watching. Thank you for watching. And oh, I'll I say, see. Uh, and I'll keep the light on for you. Now you tell me. Where's the script? <laughs> line! <laughs> I need an understudy! <laughs> Right. And now for the firing demonstration. Let's give it a shot. It has not aged well. There we go. And one more. Lovely. The wall! There it is. The Sharpshooter 2. The first ever dart launcher made by Nerf. In its place on the wall for 1992. I like it. Looks pretty cool.